Hey, what's up guys? Another episode of the Camaro Project. This is going to be doing the carpet and the plastics all black. Now I bought carpet for this last year when I was in the middle of the heyday of the project before it got all cold and I stopped for a while. And apparently that wasn't a good idea because it sucks. It doesn't fit. Um, so I ordered a kit from um, stock interiors or whatever with the cutout in the middle for the shifter and everything. It's gonna make life a lot easier, um, but it's only for the cargo area and not the trunk. So. I'm going to use the trunk part of the black carpet um, that I bought last year and put that in here. If it messes up, it's just the trunk. Nobody's really gonna see in there. My subs are gonna be covering up most of everything in there. So I've already taken everything out that I need to and that's basically unlatching the seat bolts, your um, piston arms here, your whatever these are, these air press arms that hold the lid up. You gotta take those off so you can get these plastics off on the side these big things. Um, I took my jack out from the corner and then I'm not sure if everybody has these. They're like little um, cargo latch pins. They're like right there and right there. Just a set of pair of them right there. And then of course the plastic from the trunk and then this side. Oh hey, what's up? It's future me here. If you didn't know, I filmed this video probably six months ago and I'm just now kind of adding this footage in to kind of clarify stuff. Um, right now I'm going to be showing you some before and afters. Before we get into this whole process I'll show you some before. So this is before um, when I before I started this whole project. As you can see everything's like kind of dirty and um, it's this weird grayish bluish color or whatever inside and I really wanted uh, like black trim black interior and so this is going to be some shots of the interior afterwards after I laid down my soundproofing but my new black carpet in. Um, I also redid this trim right here in the center. I bought like replica trim um, from maybe Hawks or something like that. I don't remember where I bought it from, but I'll link it down below. So you can buy this whole shifter plate, these bezels, switches and everything. So I installed all those new trim pieces. I put in black uh, door handles on the interior. But yeah, if you wanna see the process, keep on watching. So I think right now I can literally just pull this carpet out and we're gonna try it. Yep. Nice and easy. Look how dirty it is. All right, now I'm gonna take this opportunity to lay some Dynamat down. So let's do that real quick. And I'm using this brand called Noiko. I've used it for a while. I've got nothing but great results from this stuff and it's like half the price of Dynamat. Okay, so I laid out the two carpets. You can kind of see them side. Let me get like a above angle here for you. You can kind of see a gist of how similar they are. All right, so let's throw this in here. It should be pretty straightforward, right? This should go down here. Not sure how much of it. That should be plenty, right? So not a spectacular fit by any means, but it'll definitely work. It's passable, it's just a trunk. My hope is that when the cargo area carpet gets here, it'll be much more like precise, which it should be. It was like 360 bucks, so it better be. I didn't get all this jute backing off, but I'm not super concerned with it. I'm just gonna kinda go over it with this. It'll be just fine, I'm sure. All right, so here is all the sound mat I did. I did a few more strips. I did this longer one across here and then that and that one in the rear seat well, just because, you know, might as well. But yeah, it looks to be about 30, 35% coverage, which is kind of ideal for this situation. That's what you want. Um, but yeah, so now let's start putting the black plastics back in the back here. And then the back part here, slides over this assembly here. All right, there we go. All right, so this is the carpet I ordered. Um, I ordered it from Stock Interiors, but I guess ACC is the company that supplies everybody with it. I think Stock Interiors just gets it and then modifies it. So it's in a box. What I'm gonna do is take it out in the sun, lay it on the driveway and let it um, smooth out a little bit.
All right, so it's now just kind of sitting out in the sun to get some looseness to it and be, make it more conformable to the curves of the car, as they would say in the biz. But yeah, we'll wait a few hours and come back. All right. This stuff is very heavy. I got the stuff that was ultra plush for one and then had the mass backing on the back. So it's got this rubber on the back. So let's see how fitment is. It should be a lot better with this pre-cut hole in it. Definitely a bit difficult to finagle it into here. All right, my main goal right now is to get it slipped up underneath that metal bracket in there with all the wires on top uh, and then around that shifter plate. Okay, so um, the camera turned off while I was doing some install and then I just kept on doing install without turning it on. I figured there's really no point in showing you me cutting stuff. Um, but what I can do is give you some very, very helpful hints. Now, number one, this carpet that I got from Stock Interiors um, was way different than this, like, um, this was like a part of a three piece one right here. And this one's super duper like flimsy, of course. This one on the other hand is super thick. It has the rubber, that mass backing or whatever on it. And, um, let me get it back down under there. And it's this like the super plush uh, carpet option. So I probably got the actual hardest carpet to install. Um, now, once I got the hang of it, it wasn't that crazy. Let me show you a few things here. Um, number one, you're gonna have this like, you see this like bump right here in the rubber that runs, it runs all along the length of this whole carpet, right? You see, there it is, the bump right there. If you, you can pretty much rely that your cut line is going to be along the outside edge of that bump. And that's about perfect. I think they put that bump there for a reason. Um, but I literally ended up cutting along that whole outside of the bump line for the whole outside trim. And that's mainly what you're gonna be trimming is the outside and that's really it. The only other thing you're gonna be trimming is this right here, the centerpiece. Um, and this one came with a pre-cut hole, which was, I thought was gonna be cool, but was pretty much useless. As you see, um, to get the carpet to lay decently at all, I mean, you still see it's fucked up there a little bit. I have to figure that corner out, that passenger corner. Um, but everywhere else, it's pretty decent. One thing they didn't account for is these. You're gonna have to, those holes, of course. Their pre-cut hole helped with the initial, like setting it down and lining everything up, kind of. Uh, but that's about it. You have to hack in a, quite a bit. And third gen ranch sells a kit for like 25 bucks, where it's just that carpet and then a little bottle of adhesive and you just rub it on there and you just lay that carpet on. So yeah, taking the old carpet off it is quite kind of a bitch, um, but yeah, turned out pretty well. All right, so I have my seat bolts pinned down with the nuts or whatever. Um, that is my, my ground wire coming in. It's gonna sit there. I still have to now put the rest of the plastics in. Gotta get the sail panel in there, the plastics up there. 
Um, the foot panel, whatever you kick panels up there, there, this panel right here. So I'm gonna go pull that stuff on and then we'll be back. And guess what? I wasn't back. That's why future me is here right now talking to you. I think when I was uh, doing that whole project, I just kind of was over it when I was done. It was, that carpet was a, it was not fun to install. Um, but I think when I was done, I was just so exhausted and the next day I was busy and I think I just kind of forgot to film like an outro. Um, but everything turned out great in the end. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very happy with this car. Again, here's some shots of the after. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in like Camaro stuff like this, I have a whole playlist on this channel of the project I've done on this car. You can subscribe. Not everything I do is about Camaros. It's just like a general review channel, but I do all my Camaro videos on here. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.